Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. I previously wrote an article uh, talking about some Bible software that was on the iPad, and then I was able to get a hold of the beta of Olive Tree Bible Reader. Let me start that up. This is actually one of the ones that I use on, on multiple devices, and it was one I've been looking forward to because I know that they make some nice products, and you can you can uh, buy books in their library, and they work on every device that you log into with your account. And uh, this is a beta application. There's only a couple bugs that I've seen so far. And I uh, just want to kind of give you a quick little run through of it. Um, so here's kind of the view. And as you can see, it's got the two column view, kind of like a, a, you know, a Bible um, with, with two pages on it, which is kind of a nice setup. Um, over here, tap, tapping that, you can see there's bookmarks, history, notes. And this is the, one of the first ones I've seen where you can actually add notes. And for me personally, that's a big deal because I, I take my devices um, to church and I keep sermon notes either in the program I have or in Evernote. And the best thing about this, an olive tree right here, is you can create the note here and it actually syncs to uh, Evernote, right? And as you can see here, it even has some you know iPhone-y things where he says pull down to sync. So you pull that down and it syncs your notes, boom, right up to Evernote, creates a certain category in Evernote so it's easy to find your sermon notes and if you've ever used Evernote you just type a word and find it through all your notes and then it also has highlights so I'll show you some of those if I tap on the plus you can see from up here you can add a bookmark copy a verse add a note highlight a verse and I'll show you another way to do that if you go down to a verse you tap the verse it's kind of a hyperlink verse um, so if you were to say copy verse opens up this chooser and if you uh, select this you can copy multiple Verses, not just one, as I said, seven. And you say copy, then gives you and copies it into the um, clipboard. So then you can go to another application and actually then paste that, like into an email or, or something like that, and share it with somebody. If you tap add a note, you can come up here, you can add a note, type away at it. You can go into this is after you created the note, and you can see the note in a bigger view as well. And then you see there's a note icon that appears in the Bible. You can also take, select to highlight a verse, select some different colors to choose from, say yellow, and then, uh, oh, that's different. That worked before. And, oh, that's interesting. This must be one of the little bugs here, because last time I had the highlight, it actually was a different, there we go, pops up into a different mode, so you can check what kind of highlighter you want to do. What, what kind of highlighter you want to use? And then select highlight it, and there you go. You highlighted that that uh, particular note. If you tap up here on the library, you'll see it opens up your library. This is my particular account. I uh, brought the Holman Christian Standard Bible. You need to buy some more, actually. And you can go to your account. You can tap on the store, and from the store, it actually has a store within the application, so you can see these different uh, translations and buy the translations um, right here in the store looks like a bookshelf as you can see so you can add those to your library if you want to it's nice to have that store integrated go ahead and come back out of the store and then up here is the verse chooser I'll jump back into landscape mode ah, so there has been a, a bug where from every once in a while when you switch to portrait landscape it was locked, closing up but that's not happening now so here's how you, you choose a book that you want then you choose a verse or then a chapter and then a verse to very easily jump to an area. You can also do a search, uh, all Old Testament, New Testament, and uh, advanced searches as well. As you can see, Greek and Hebrew and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, you can tap over here on the uh, tool icon in the top right. There's font sizes. You can tap larger, smaller. As you can see, it goes pretty small, and you can get it to go pretty large as well for reading. And then you can have uh, either justified text or versed text as you can see there this is kind of easier for reading and if you tap on this you can see even more settings and then we've got font settings and then the, the settings in here are just incredible how many how many settings they have in this application I mean more than any other Bible application that's currently available on the iPad you've got background color settings text color settings strongs numbers footnote colors background for uh, split windows I'll show you that in a minute pop-up window colors can really customize this whole thing to the way you want it to work. You can see here, open the Bible hyperlinks, foot links, Strong's hyperlinks, Glossy. I mean, it's really a full featured application. 
how you want to do the pages swipe only or swipe and tap your account your Evernote account split window settings do you want the windows uh, how do you want the windows split in the slider position where you want it located other settings so there's plenty of settings here to really customize the application for you and now on this particular one so if we're in uh, port landscape mode here I tap there's an icon down in the corner if I tap that corner it splits my window you can actually have two different translations um, side by side now this might kick me out no nope, it worked oh no, there it did. so that's what happens is when you do the split window and then turn it off tell them about that in the beta so now on the uh, portrait mode it's still in the bottom right corner you tap that and it does a split window uh, a vertical split here and so you got uh, top and bottom splits um, let me just close the split and I've got it set up for swipe so as you can see it's really fast um, as far as reading the Bible and the pages and it's it's very attractive I mean I, I, I even like just the default here with um, with the uh, the kind of tan background and the, and the dark and the font there it's nice on the eyes but so far I'm really liking it I mean especially with the notes and things like that that I see in the application and it's still in beta it has been submitted to the App Store so it should appear eventually and uh, I believe it's free with it comes with uh, one of the translations free King James or New King James and then you can buy uh, a bunch of different translations after that so quite a good application uh, great for Bible study on the Apple iPad